Hello everyone, hello AI Surfer community. So in this video I would like to compare the custom avatars that you can create with Hagen and Synthesia and just see which one does better and also give you a recommendation which one I would use. Okay, for those who don't know what I'm talking about, Synthesia and Hagen are basically the leading platforms when it comes to custom AI avatar. So you can create videos with your custom AI avatar or also pre-built AI avatars that they have in their library and yeah they are basically the market leaders and both of them are doing really good. So far you could do it only on Heijin that you create your own custom avatar but now Synthesia also introduced their custom avatar. So they did it basically two weeks ago on 31st of July and they also did it with a LinkedIn um, event. So I was watching this LinkedIn event where they introduced it and also showed it and it looked really really nice. So the results were amazing that they showed there. You can watch it i will link the event in here when i was watching it i thought directly i want to test it i want to see which one does better because i'm actually i love hagen and yeah i just want to see if synthesia does better then maybe i need to switch and that's what i want to do today i want to um, create a video um, with my custom ai avatar on both platforms compare it and yeah use the basically the same source video so you have really a direct comparison we will talk a little bit about the prices and features and yeah, at the end you will see a recommendation from me. So let's start and look into that. So the first thing that you need to do in order to create your custom avatars is to subscribe to a plan. And here you're seeing the um, monthly plans on Synthesia. And here you can see with the smallest plan, the starter package, you can create three personal avatars. And yeah, that's what I did. So I subscribed to the first package and that is how it will look like in the dashboard when you're logged in. So it's actually quite easy to create your custom avatars. Here you can see I already did mine. And yes, I use the green screen because it's just easier to uh, post edit it later on. So normally what I'm doing is I'm recording with the green screen. In post editing, I will cut out the green screen and add an AI background image to it. So it looks much more professional. Also, this video is recorded with the green screen. It just makes it more professional later on. Um, so for those who never created a custom avatar, I will quickly show you how to do it. You basically just go into the menu on avatars and then there's this create avatar. Just click in here and you have three different options. What we basically need is to create our personal avatar. You click on create. There's a video instruction that you can watch. It's one minute, so just take your time and watch it. And here are also the four key bullet points that you need to know in order to create your um, custom avatar on good quality. So quiet environment, pause after each sentence that you've spoken, use natural body language. So don't try to be very uh, static and robotic and you should move like naturally. If you're counting something, you shouldn't count one, two, three because it might be that it will be integrated in your custom avatar and then later on it will just randomly try to count although it doesn't make sense to to the content of, of what you're saying. So try to use just normal natural movements. Yeah, and that's actually it. You click next, then upload footage. So the footage that you need to record needs to be one to five minutes. You should not do any cuts in that video. So you should straight record it one to five minutes and you should be the only person in the um, in the video. Also here, everything is stated like that and you can talk about every topic basically. So it doesn't matter about what topic you're talking. It doesn't matter if maybe doesn't make really make sense. I was also talking a lot of nonsense in my video. I just wanted to have it like two or three minutes long because it's just important that it understands your lip movement and also um, your gesture, your hand movements and also your voice. It will basically also scan your voice, understand your accent, your dialect and create from there your custom avatar. So once you've done that, you can just um, upload it in here and um, choose basically the language that you recorded. My video was recorded in German because I'm German and German is just my mother tongue. It's just easier for me to speak German. So I recorded my video in German. From there, if you uploaded it, okay, yeah just a random video, you click on the toggle, you click next, and from here you have to record your consent. So um, see it's already switched because I'm connected to my camera here. Yeah, you basically need to record your consent live into that camera. If you click next, there will be a text on the screen that you have to read and there's a passcode that you also need to read. And that's uh, yeah the last step basically in creating your custom avatar. It might be that your camera is not directly showing up in here. It's because you have to enable it. So if it's not there, if it's saying some red text and saying, yeah, you need to enable it, you can click here on the top left corner. There's this um, icon and if you click on it, you can basically enable the microphone and the camera for for that website because yeah, you need it basically to record your consent so if I'm deactivating it and refreshing it you will see the error message here and yeah this is what you see please allow your browser permission to use a camera and microphone and refresh the page you will do it basically here camera microphone and then refresh after that click next and then you have your custom avatar it takes maybe I think a few hours maybe I think it was seven hours for me until I had my custom avatar but then you will see it popping up here in here and then from there you can use it the process is very very similar on Hagen it's basically exactly the same okay but now let's go into what we really want to discuss here um, the comparison 
So I also created the same avatar in um, Heijin. That's actually an avatar that I used before. And um, I wanted to use the same source video. So we have really a direct comparison. We really see the quality of the, of the videos and so on. You can create the, a new video in here. Let me also do it in here. Let's create the video. Use portrait mode. Use your custom avatar in here for Synthesia as well. And then we can go to the first step, which is comparison of the uh, dashboard. So the first thing, um, if you want to record it uh, in a portrait mode on Synthesia, it took me quite a while to figure out how to change it to the portrait mode, but it's actually here on the top left corner. If you click it, you can choose a different video size. And here we have now portrait video. And if you're looking onto the different um, options that you can use, they look very, very similar on Synthesia and Heijin. So here we have this avatar panel, which is also avatar panel called in Heijin. So that is already the same. We have the text panel, which is also here the text. We have shapes, which are here in elements in Heijin. So if you scroll down, you also see the shapes. We have the media panel, where you can use a lot of stock videos and also stock images, which is nice. You just click on element, you have video and you have uh, images here. So it's also in there. Synthesia has this record panel, which is not there for Heijin. Um, for those of you who, who need it, it's there. Um, I don't really need it, so it's okay. So the background image can be done if you click here on space. There are a lot of different, very nice looking um, background images that you can use. That's the basic setup. If you're looking here, you have the text that you can put in. So the good thing is that you don't really need to record your own text. You can basically just write a script, write a text that you want to say, and it will basically um, read that text with a lip synchronization. And that's also what I tested and I had to test it because normally I'm not using this, this script writing um, in here. Normally what I'm doing is that I record my audio in advance and I will upload the audio and it will synchronize with the video and yeah, I have the, the lip synchronization in there. Because in my opinion, the audio doesn't really sound natural. So normally if I want to introduce it into a specific way with up and downs, like how, how I normally speak, it's just easier for me to just record the audio, upload it and then have the video done, it sounds much more natural. But since Synthesia doesn't have the audio upload function, you're actually limited to having only the script written in here. Here in Synthesia, you have, if you click on script, you can upload an audio. You can click here, upload audio, and yeah, that's normally what I'm doing. So you see a lot of audio files that are already um, used in here. And from there, you don't need to write the script. And the better thing is also here in Heijin, if you click on your voice, you can choose different voices in here, but you can also integrate a third party voice. For example, if you click on it, I integrated 11 Labs, So you can use the 11 Labs API and you will be able to import all your voices from 11 Labs. And I think 11 Labs is by far the best uh, voice generation tool so far. So if you want to have a professional voice, you should take it from 11 Labs. So here, there's my voice. I recorded myself in Vietnamese um, on 11 Labs. So yeah, you can take it from there and um, that is something that Synthesia doesn't have. Okay, but I created a script written on both platforms and I created the video and I will show you now the result of the video and you can tell me which one you like better. So I have basically on the left side one and on the right side just here and see and tell me what you like more. Hello AI Surfer community. This is the comparison of the custom avatar feature from Hagen and Synthesia. I use the same source video to create both custom avatars so we have a direct comparison between the videos which one do you think is the better version? Uh, the one on the left side or the one on the right side? I will let you know in a few seconds which one was created by which tool. Hello AI Surfer community. This is the comparison of the custom avatar feature from Heijin and Synthesia. I use the same source video to create both custom avatars so we have a direct comparison between the videos. Which one do you think is the better version? The one on the left side or the one on the right side? I will let you know in a few seconds which one was created by which tool. Okay, so um, you have now an idea on how it is. First, I want to um, talk a little bit about the videos before I show you the result. So if you're looking on the video, you can see the avatar is quite blurry. And I was wondering why, because I'm using the same source file and the same source file was created in 4K. And when I exported it, it they were both in full HD, uh, but still there's one which is much better than the other one. One is very blurry. And if you're listening to the accent on the light, on the left side, it sounds a little bit as if I would have a French accent. I'm not sure if you can hear that. I will play it again. Hello AI Surfer community. This is the comparison of the custom. 
Halo AI Surfer Community. This is the comparison, like, it sounds a little bit French. I mean, no offense to French, but I don't have a French accent. I don't even know how to speak French. Only my AI avatar does. So yeah, it sounds a little bit French, although I've started up to use an American accent. So that is definitely something that, yeah, doesn't sound very natural for me. I mean, I can totally understand that the accent is absolutely not correct because I recorded myself in German, but still it doesn't really sound like proper English. You, you still hear the, the strange accent. And here on the right side, the accent is also much better. Avatars, so we have a direct comparison between the videos. Which one do you think is the better version? The one yeah, the sounds much the one the nicer in my opinion. So the gesture, the hand movement looks on both sides quite natural. So yeah, let's actually look into the result of it. So the one on the left was created by Synthesia. And the one on the right side was created by Heijin. Which one did you like more? Um, so yeah, the right one was created by Heijin and Synthesia is, in my opinion, not as far as Heijin when it comes to the quality of the video. So now let's look into the pricing. Before Synthesia launched their personal avatars, Heijin had a very similar pricing model as uh, Synthesia. But one day after they introduced it, Heijin basically changed their pricing model totally and that is a huge game changer. And you should watch it because everyone who didn't create an account and didn't create a custom avatar yet, now it's your turn because now you can do it basically for free. Not everything for free, but yeah, let me show you. Um, so in Synthesia, you start with at least $29 per month and you have one editor, a lot of um, different avatars from the library that you can use, which is also in, in, in Hage in that case. Let me actually show you the pricing that was there before 1st of August, because before before 1st of August, you were also charged based on credits, like how many credits are you buying on Hagen? And I did some screenshots because at that point I was interested in the enterprise package, which is actually $10,000 per year. So yeah, but the pricing model was very similar you could create a free account in here but yeah one credit came basically down to roughly two dollar and that's also what synthesia has now actually here it's it's three dollar because here you have uh, 10 minutes but the rest was very similar there was one thing or actually two things for me why i wouldn't choose um, synthesia when i have a direct comparison and that was one is the uh, one click translation so you cannot use a video or you cannot upload a video click on translate into different language and it will do it for you you basically need the enterprise package on synthesia and that is already included in the smallest package basically on Heijin. I think here this one is a video translation basis. You can just upload a video, you choose five languages and then it will translate your video into five languages. But yeah, that is only here included in the enterprise package and the voice upload. So yeah, you cannot upload the voice and here you can also see voice over uploads. It's only possible on enterprise package. Unfortunately, and that is for me something that will not work because I normally use it for Vietnamese videos and you cannot create Vietnamese script there. Like you can write it, but it cannot speak Vietnamese. So that's why I have to basically up, uh, like upload my audio. Okay, but now to the biggest change when it comes to pricing on Heijin, because they launched a new pricing. Here you can see the article and I will just tell you the most important sentence, which is today we're excited to announce new create and team plans that allow users like yourself to create and edit as many videos as needed. Means that you can now create unlimited videos with the smallest plan so if you're now on the starter plan you're not limited to the credits that you bought which were two dollar like roughly two dollar per credit but now it's unlimited video generations and that includes also video translations if you want to translate your video it's also included in there which is a huge 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 game changer i mean how can they go from two dollar per credits now to unlimited unlimited was not even in the enterprise package like wow for me it's like the biggest game changer here because now yeah i mean if you're creating a lot of videos then hagen is definitely the way to go There's it's just one thing that is now turned a little bit down, which is the max duration per video. So if you have very long videos that you want to create, then yeah, now you can do it only five minutes per video instead of 60 minutes per video before. If you need more, then just go with the next package, which, which is the team plan that you can do 60 minutes per video. But yeah, unlimited video generations is definitely a game changer. So yeah, so this is the overview about the current pricing plan. This is um, $20 per, mo per month if you bill it yearly, but if you go to monthly billing, it's still $29 per month. Here, unlimited video creation on all of the plans. Now the free package even has included one instant avatar and you can create three videos per month up to three minutes, which is already nice because now you can even test your instant avatar. You can see if you really like it. And if it's the case, then you can upgrade it. And if not, then yeah, you don't need to buy it. But yeah, that's that option is not there for Synthesia. And yeah, one very important thing as well that I totally forgot, and I think also a lot of people don't really know that, is if you're creating your instant avatars. On Synthesia, you're limited to three different avatars, right? But the thing is, on Heijin, you have three instant avatar slots, it means that you can even recreate your instant avatar. For each slot that you have, you can recreate it five times per month. So if you're hovering over this, you can see redo, five redos left for this avatar in this month. With one slot, you can recreate it five times, 
means that you have basically six avatars that you can create with one slot times three is 18 different avatars so yeah and then next month it's again reset you can actually create like tons of different uh, instant avatars which is insane the avatar creation is also much faster so instead of waiting a few hours on synthesia you can do it within a few minutes on Hagen. so definitely i think in most of the points Hagen is still the leader in here when it comes to custom ai uh, avatar so i would definitely stick to Hagen and um, still do it in there i'm not sure about any other features like all the normal ai avatars that that synthesia has because i haven't tested synthesia um, only these custom avatars but even if i'm looking now into ai avatars from the library i mean both of them have tons of ai avatars from the library but Hagen has now also ones that are created from different angles so here you can see avatars created from straight and also from the side which is very nice because it gives you the option to create some b-roll and make your video much more interesting and i haven't seen it on synthesia only like the normal avatars and yeah they are more or less now the basic avatars everything recorded straight now i think that these are not all the points it might be that i forgot something if you have also different experience if you have other things that you that you realized let's discuss it here in the chat if you've seen anything where you say Synthesia is the way to go, then let's have a discussion. Let's um, write it into the chat. I will add the links to the post so you can click on it and create an account if you haven't done it yet. Um, I will add an affiliate link so you will support me if you click on it to, to create uh, your account. And yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching and see you next time.